I was angry with my friend. I told my rat. My rat did end. I was angry with my foe. I told my rat. My rat did grow. Crank calls were a dime a dozen in this city, and I'd had my share. Still, this guy sounded more like an English teacher than the average scumbag. If I'd been more awake, the message might have spooked me. Race and reset. No messages. I'm in demand. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Got your delivery here, man. What? Kingston Kitchen. Oh yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Jeez. Can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. Understand good, it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader! Extra terrestrial gravity! One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes? They be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package man. No! No, no please, don't! Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Maggie, come here, girl. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Your floor number, please.
McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendeller's password was. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than and now it was... I thought about... Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive. And not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Disgusting. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Eisendeller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendeller, so I figured they must be worth having. Nothing. You spawn anything you think I ought to know? Absolutely. I'd seen, and now it, I thought of Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Jeff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? 
Well, you could call his personal assistant, who is... Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. I'll give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Hey. You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. We get a new weapons shipment? Laboratory.
main frame, and shooting range. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy underthings in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess, he's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. I've gotten all I can from that. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Someone had tried to access a bunch of per The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. The dog collar has a name. The dog collar has a name. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know. Kingston. Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? 
One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion! But fish! Fish are good! I have every kind of fish for you! Glow fish, dorado, miniature fish. Very friendly! No thanks, I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog! No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money! Let's get back to insects. Official LPD business. Ah, down at the end of Animal Row, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Anything unusual happening down here? Ah, business slow today. But tonight, my people bring over baby barracudas. They're very cute. You should buy. I'll pass. Might I interest you in a snake, Noble One? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not, Noble One, save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. They all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishka whoop without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Thanks for your time. This your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subtera. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? I didn't like that. Very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. 
you try Hawker Circle. You might want to try for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then, you buy a piece, right? For a special lady friend? You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. Ah, Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly. But you talk about it. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Careful, senor. You're poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchased one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that'd be too, senor. Ow! Damn it. Oh, oh no! I warned you, senor. You will surely die. But you're still standing. The poison, it acts very quickly. I ain't feeling so good. If you are not dead already, you will live. Strange. Had a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here. You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D Tech. Blade Runner, huh? Jesus. How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. You sell any off-world stuff? Like Ender rifles? Nah, I ain't seen anything like that in years. Wish I had one, though. The Ender was a real workhorse. Good stopping power, decent rate of fire. You looking? Gonna cost you a bundle, I'm afraid. Not really. Somebody shot up Runciter's shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Why's that? Runcid is always putting on those airs like he's better than everybody else. But he'll do anything for a buck. Sell anything to anybody. That's where I draw the line. If it's suspicious, it's out of here. Got no place at Bullet Bob's. You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is? Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. How'd you feel about taking a little test? Test? 
You mean the Voigt Kampf? Yeah, I don't think you're a rep, but I want to... Hey, hey, hey! You don't have to explain. I always wanted to see the machine in action. Go on, set it up! Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown. Fourth sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. What do you do for a living? I sell donuts. Come on, is the whole thing gonna be this dull? Just answer the questions as truthfully as you can. What's your name? Bob Gorski. This ain't no different than the DMV. Just a sec. You're crying. Why is that? What kind of candy-ass question is that? It's meant to provoke a reaction. Reaction, huh? Well, I ain't crying. Next question! For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I want a hamster. Well, it's a fish. She better damn well get me what I want. You're giving a speech to a crowd of hundreds. First, one person starts to laugh. Why? You tell me. Finish the question. He leans over and says something to the people around him. Soon the whole audience is roaring with laughter and pointing at you. I don't like it when people laugh at me. Nobody does. No, I mean I really don't like it. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Must be the stuffed animals again. Yeah, they're freaky. They like animals. But they got stuff in them. You're watching an old movie. It shows a banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. Damn. You know, I'm getting to be an old man, and I ain't gonna tell you I've never eaten meat. But even back when I was a kid, that would have made most people sick. I'd stop watching the movie. You pour yourself a drink. Every time you finish one, you have another until you vomit. You wake up hungover and depressed. Hair and a dog will take care of that. Man, that takes me back. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. I'd burn the book. Let me finish. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead Cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste each more gruesome than the last. So this is how this test goes, huh? You asking me sick questions. It's designed to provoke you. Is that right? Your child comes home with a black eye. Bear Giovanna. He's a good kid. Everyone's got to get bloodied sometimes. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection plus the killing jar. I beat some sense into him, and then toss the collection. Are you taking any drugs? Hey, I get tested every week. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. Hey, check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you. Make it not quite so freaking standard if you get my drift. What for? Hey, Ray, relax. I'm your pal, ain't I? You don't have to step soft around me. The department's been infiltrated, right? That's the only way Davy could have been taken out like he was. Holden is good, no question. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give him everything. 
but you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Set it up. There you go. Better than new. Thanks for your time. I've modified this thing to let you pick and choose what gets uploaded to the police mainframe. Right-click on any clues you want to keep to yourself. There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one in See? Anosoptera. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. Item like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. I hear you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap, that lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. Thanks for your time. <laughs>